We are waiting for our tour guide in the center, city center, Hoi An. Uh, today we're going to take a, a tour to the basket boats uh, and then we will shop in the market, central market, and we will cook. Hopefully, uh, there is a menu of four dishes, but we'll see how it turns out. So it's an exciting day for us. It's a touristic activity, but it will be the first time I cook Asian food, I think. Right. It's been 15 minutes. Um, we are still waiting at the same spot. Uh, I'm a little bit tired now, <laughs> but uh, we are. We contacted the agency and they are calling the driver. So another unknown is waiting for us. Okay, we are in a really nice car now. Uh, he came finally. I think we are the only two people in the car and uh, in the tour, yes. Hopefully it will be like this, like a private tour. Uh, we are not sure where we are going because our driver don't speak English. Uh, so you can hear he's speaking Vietnamese. I think he's very angry to some people. Yes, but I don't know what's going on, but uh, we are going to either the basketball tour or to the market. I don't know. Oh my God. There's a Okay, now they uh, gave us uh, baskets each, uh, and now uh, we are going to the market. Show your basket. Yes, it's nice. So, since we are a couple, we are sharing one. And uh, now we are going to the market to shop, but uh, they informed us that they already bought the meat for it to be fresh during the morning, and they are keeping it in the fridge. And we're just gonna uh, see the market now and maybe buy some vegetables and uh, greens and I don't know, maybe some uh, spices or something. Uh, so now we're heading to the central market in Hoi An. And we are eight people today? Yes, eight people. And in Vietnam, the goose is very special. Here is the duck eggs, chicken eggs, and the goose eggs, the huge ones. They eat it with the baby inside. No. So they think they're going to be healthy and beautiful as the baby, but uh, I'm not sure it's the best idea. Okay, so we came to buy the noodle from Hoi An. It's uh, the one in the Kaolau. And so they are making it with a special water from the well and they're putting an ash of the leaf so it turns out this color. And we learned that these are like meatballs from pork and these are with beef and pork. And they put them in small portions inside the leaves. And they're already cooked, I think. And uh, here in the market, you can buy fresh meat from the same day. Uh, and uh, I think one kilogram of pork is around five US dollars and one kilogram of beef is 12. Uh, so they buy them in small portions. And if they're not sold, they make it those uh, meatballs, the orange ones you saw at the back. Okay, now uh, I think we are leaving the stall. So we have the mushrooms here. This is our tour guide, Frank. <laughs> the oyster mushroom. And the ice cream. <laughs> and the uh, flavor similar to cinnamon. Mm. Oh, okay. And we call it the Thai basil. And it's a unique this one for the noodle soup today. Oh. And this one, the lid the same, the basil. See? With the color, the green one. Yeah. We call it this one, the lemon basil. Oh. And the flavor similar to lemongrass. Very lemony. Oh. It's unique for the salads. Okay, now we learned a lot about the. Uh, greens and the vegetables here and now we're heading back to the one it's a bit rushed but um, we learned a lot and we did some shopping uh, she put things in our bags our bag is empty because she didn't put anything to our bag <laughs> anyway uh, I think now we're going to the cooking class and um, while waiting there we'll get a basketball tour um, now we're in the van, uh, we are going to the cooking class and uh, we are, I think, going to cook all these ingredients we bought and um, it feels a bit rushed but uh, still it's nice to be an air-conditioned air van. Uh, 
and I think it's going to take around 15 minutes to go. I think we came to Coconut Palm Village because uh, this is where all the basket boats leave and uh, they, were, they are taking us to a place where we can take the boat and cook at the same time. So we are walking inside the village now. This is where we're getting the basketball chrome. See? Kind of noisy. But here is that famous view of the basketballs. Now we are in the basket boat and we are going uh, on the river and uh, our driver uh, is not uh, bad, she's keeping us stable, uh, but I, we have seen what they could do, you know, they're rolling everyone around uh, and this is an enjoyable journey actually, it's breezy, it's sunny, but I hope they weren't shouting because it's not so peaceful. So we are being drifted away to a place full of tourists. <laughs> So far it's a peaceful um, experience, but I'm sensing that we are going somewhere very loud uh, from the reviews we had read online and uh, from the music sounds I'm hearing from afar. Uh, maybe <laughs> it's going to get a little bit touristic now. Apparently we are looking for fish now, here, but I'm not sure if there are any fish here. By the way, these are the coconut palm trees, water coconut. And, uh, we are searching the roots of the water coconut trees. looking for fish I think but what fish lives here I don't know are they feeding off the roots or just making nestles here Gokai is fishing actually we caught one crab but it went away no it's still in, it's the, in the boat but the boat. we are not in control of him <laughs> No, we missed our crab. 
he couldn't catch any fish or crabs. And now we are going to the cooking class without the fish. It's a failure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the broken rice that we broke a little ago inside this and it's in the old times uh, they did it like this but nowadays they don't do it like this now uh, I think with the rice we're gonna make the rice milk to make the rice soft so when you grind it's easy so we will use this model the stone, you, look, I have a stick in the middle. Mm -hmm. Whole jar So you, when you grind, they never come mm -hmm. off. Like that. Mm -hmm. And I have a hole here in the middle here. So you put the rice in here. And then you grind in the rice. So the rice milk that you come oh. So you know what, what you, you rice milk or what you we're going to do it. Yeah, we, what do you want make? So today we use this up for the rice pancakes. Oh. Oh. And also you can use the rice paper, yeah. mm. noodle, or different kind of noodle. Yeah. Like, uh, or you uh, can use it uh, to make a uh, different kind of cake. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. This is how so, the rice milk, but this is the way it's, it's done in the old days. You don't have this kind of motor, you do it in a blender. Mesh, right? mesh. Nowadays but they do it with the blender. Uh, put it in blender. You have to be soaking in the water. Yeah. Now uh, we're gonna do the rice paper. The rice Actually, paper. we learned yeah, this in another tour, paper. but let's try again. Yeah. Here so is the rice the milk the we have the, made the one from the well. Then normally, um, if you want to make thick like this, you, you, you get more rice, less water. You don't pour any more. Just put it back, and you get covered. You know how long it takes to cook? Can you guess? One minute. One minute. How many? One. One minute. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds. So you dry outside the sun. So here is the rice paper. And if you want, uh, uh, it if takes you want like ten noodle, seconds to cook. Two pieces, three pieces like this. Uh, two together and you cut. Now she's getting ready for our cook shop. Now we are really ready to cook with all our outfits and uh, we have the scene here we are by the river and um, now we have all the things we need. We have the passion fruit juice and we have the stall. I think some oil and vinegar water here. We have things like this, plates, cooking stuff <laughs> and the spices. And Gyokai is going to cook like a wizard today. <laughs> She's crushing the onion and she's putting the oil. They're doing the cooking and onion and vegetables there. And we're gonna cook the beef. Normally, the beef is very strong, very beefy. So that's why you have to cook this together for the flavor getting better. We got here the cinnamon, the star anise, the ginger, the shallots, the onion. 
And before you cook them, you have to cook them first in the fire. The cinnamon and the star anise goes inside. Only cinnamon and the star anise are. And we're keeping the <laughs> we're keeping the ginger and the onion together. More. So Gokai is crushing the onion and the ginger. And we just boiling here. What are you cooking today? I'm cooking garlic with peanuts and soy sauce. For what? Uh, for crisp spring rolls. So in the burning oil we put some garlic and then we, uh, after the garlic turned a little bit brown, we put in the soy sauce, the peanut butter and the water and sugar. So Gokai is rolling. Roll the last yeah. <laughs> okay. so is trying to fry spin rolls with the pork. He's gonna roll it again. Roll it, roll it, roll it. This is my first time And look at what I have done. What I have done looks like a masterpiece, I think, right? Okay, time to eat what we have done, and so I'm eating my rice paper uh, spring roll, fresh roll, mm. with the hoisin sauce. I think we did the hoisin sauce, right? Mm. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, this was a tricky one. My banche is already in health, and Gokai is putting his greens in. And you did the Vietnamese taco. Yes, Vietnamese taco. We also here we prepared the sauce with uh, fish sauce, water, garlic, chili pepper, and kung kwa. <laughs> What's next to check? Now we are mixing half and half with the black pepper and chicken bouillon uh, together with the beef. So now we're gonna do the decoration and afterwards we're gonna put it on top of the noodles. Ooh. And now Gyokai is getting his onions ready because we need crispy onions on top of this beautifully decorated noodle plate and you see my butterflies I made cherries you find my cherries okay 
Tam şeylerle, tam daire. Okay, Gökay has made an incredible dish with the beef noodle. Can you see his cherries? Yes. It's time to eat it now. <laughs> Tour, and from here we're gonna go back to the city center and from there to the hotel okay so the cooking class is over we are really full and in this ambience really beautiful place now we're going back home I mean the hotel